Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. It's been such a long time since we've played this, but today we're bringing it back. Um, I forgot what I did in here last time. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I ordered a PLP 50 in real life and it's gonna be showing up next month. And what's super cool is it's actually a kit car. I'm gonna need to build it. So I was thinking before the PLP 50 arrives, I need some practice. So that's why we're bringing back Car Mechanic Simulator. It's been a very long time since I've been out to the junkyard. Let's search around this place and hopefully I can find our vehicle. Yo, that's a GTR. Okay. Anyway. Anyways, let's see if we can find this car I want to work on today. Papa Fernando is going to be so... Oh my God. Papa Fernando is going to be crying. It doesn't have any wheels. It doesn't have any doors. It's missing a hood, a fender. I guess let's start the auction for this thing. Starting price, 658 credits. All right, well, let's start the auction and bid away. I mean, let's be honest. This is basically half a beetle, right? It's got to be less than 2,000. Okay, more than 2,000. Less than 3,000. Bro. Bro. I know the car market's insane, but you can't drive this car. Stop. You're literally paying four grand for rust. I'm not happy. 4,000 bucks for a pile of rust. Volkswagen Beetle, welcome back to the AR-12 garage, which yes, it is still full of junk. Our goal with this thing is to get the Beetle looking top tier. But maybe more importantly than that, I think we need to make this Beetle the fastest Beetle in the world. <laughs> We're gonna start things up with a little bit of a car wash underneath all of that grime and dirt. It's a police Volkswagen Beetle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the police wagon. We're gonna start it up with a little bit of welding, bring over the car welder, use this thing 500 bucks, and weld up this gross, gross looking Beetle. We've got to get all of these really nasty parts off of our Volkswagen Beetle. Like, even looking there like that is just... Bleh. Bleh. Bro, I forgot about that. Anyways, we've got some nasty windows on the rear. We've got some nasty fenders rear bumpers. Obviously, that engine is going to need to come out as well. We're going to start this vehicle off with a little bit of a disassembly. So, Beetle, up into the air you go. We're going to get rid of all of this suspension in the front and the rear. Bro, I think someone literally parked this in the ocean. I bought a certified shit box. Even the fuel tank is gross. Get that out of there. Maybe with the current car market, the price is accurate. <laughs> Fun fact, actually. My dad, his old boss, was a huge fan of the Volkswagen Beetles, and he actually bought two of them from the 1960s. One of them... He drove around as his daily car for a long time. And the other one, he had put in a barn somewhere and he's never driven it. I think I've already got most of my suspension off. Let's see if I can pull the engine. Am I forgetting something? I didn't drain the oil, but let's be honest. There probably isn't any in this thing. Pull it up. You lie. You liars. Haha. See? I... Really? I told you. I told you there was no oil in this stupid car. The oil was supposed to come pouring out and there was none. Great. Thanks, game. That is everything out of the Vocha. What engines can we swap into this thing? Okay, now it's only worth 1,200. Probably what it was worth before. Swap options. None. I don't think so, sunshine. I need to mod the game. Hold on. I've got an engine swap. This game has actually gone through a, quite a few updates, and there's a whole bunch of new DLC. There's like a Land Rover DLC. There's a Jag DLC, a Pagani DLC. So there's like new V12 Zonda engines in here. There should be some V8 engines from like some Jags as well. There's a V8 from a Land Rover. It's not every day you can swap an engine like that. It's got 600 horsepower bone stock before we've done any upgrades to the thing. I think this will go well. Wait, 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 wait. Have I already built a car that has a V8 DOHC supercharged engine in it? Instead of building an engine from scratch, why don't I just yoink one out, out of my 
car. All right, Beetle, you stay outside for a bit. I'm gonna go back into the shop and... Oh, for God's sake. You know when you guys say, Oh, Nick, you're ruining a car. And I go, nah, I'm not. And then I come back a couple of months later and see what I built. Yeah. Yeah. I think making this vehicle as immobile as possible would probably be a good thing. That way it has the most chance of ending up in a junkyard. I love a blue Ford F-150 Raptor. Uh, th this is not the one. 51,000 bucks. I will happily pay you that much to take it off my hand. Now we've got our Volkswagen Beetle. We can swap our V8 engine into there. Here we go. It's a brand new DOHC supercharged engine. In you go, buddy. Love- oh. Um, we might have a slight problem. I've got this gearbox for a V8, and I haven't done any upgrades to it. So hold on a second. Before I get that tossed onto the car, if I leave the garage and enter this little, uh, container, that's my big old V8 gearbox. And then I can upgrade, upgrade, and upgrade. So now it's actually going to be giving 1.3% extra horsepower than the regular version, which is pretty good. Wait, I can do the same thing with my exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this is really going to be a fast beetle. Okay. My exhaust before was giving 2% boost. I can upgrade it to 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, and then do it for the other one. So that's what, like, uh, more than 5% boost just from the exhaust? Let's get the Beetle back up into the air again, and now we can work on our suspension. Steering rack in. Suspension is going in. Uh, okay, okay. Volkswagen build quality. Why is this bolt not done up properly? You know what that would feel like when you're driving? <laughs> if I could yell in German. Boy, would I be doing that right now. I, well, that's not true. I can actually yell in German. Ich habe ein Händchen. I took German class for a full year. And that's all I can remember. All I can say is I have a chicken, which I'm not going to lie, doesn't come in handy uh, very much. All right, only a couple more pieces for our front suspension, outer tie rod. That's looking good. We can get the wheel on that side. And we can get the wheel on that side. I think our front suspension's already done. All right, all of Twitch chat is now just speaking German, and I literally do not understand what they're saying. I think I'm done. I mean, it's very jank suspension setup. Since we're going to be building a super fast Beetle, we're probably going to want the grippiest tires we can get, so... I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with those slick tires. I didn't really look into what would fit on the Beetle, so I'm just gonna make it up and go... 295. A lot of Twitch chat wants rim number 11. Okay, we shall go with these. There is not a single chance that these wheels are gonna fit. Here we go. Please don't be too big. Please don't be too... I... I... I nailed it! I nailed it! I nailed it! I nailed it! I'm not so sure about that. Yo, that actually kind of works. It kind of looks like it's on, like, dub wheels because they're so big. But I think we'll make those wheels look even better when we get our body mods on. The only thing we've got left to do is get it on the dyno, see how much horsepower it has, and get all of our body panels on. So let's start with that one. Oh my God, there are so many parts. We've got hoods with Volkswagen logos, chrome stripes. I don't really want any chrome stripes. Does this one have? Yup, that one's got a ton of cool vents on it. That's pretty sick. That's carbon fiber. That's carbon fiber with vents. That's debadged, okay. I don't think I like the idea of a carbon fiber hood. I think I'm gonna go regular. I think I'm actually gonna run the one we just put on. We'll be able to paint this hood, so that will look good. That fender gives you so much, like, approach angle if you were off-roading. That's really sick. Instead, though, I think we need to go for this wide body one. Yo, that fitment! So, let's get the same wide body fender on the other side. We've also got some different bumpers that we can swap on. So, we've got, like, regular beetle bumpers... Still kind of regular. That one's kind of like a bash bar. This is like a race car. Whoa, that's pretty sick. Headlight in and headlight in. Look at these windshields so I can get a light bar on my roof. That is so cool. We've got this, which was our cop one with the mega horn. And then we've got a sun visor. Let's see what that one looks like, bruh. 
Bro, what is that? Okay, we're just gonna go for a regular boring windshield. Then I need the windshield trim. Since we're running wide body in the front, we should run wide body in the rear. Let's get those tail lights in, which are specifically designed for the wide body. Let's start this off with the trunk. So we've obviously got some big things that we can put on here. That's straight off a 911. That is so cool. And that actually hides our engine pretty well. So we, we might want to consider that. I think we'll go for that first one, honestly. The first one that I tossed on, I think it's an RWB part, isn't it? Anyways, we've also got some rear bumpers that we can toss on here and some really cool things like wheelie bars. I mean, that doesn't fit the car at all, but it, it does look pretty cool. Maybe instead of those, that's like a Baja part. What is this one? Yo, that's a sick like race diffuser on there. Okay, yeah. Let's go for that. The amount of custom is it? Yup. Yup. Whoa, the purple is crazy. The fin on our on our on our surfboard got painted purple. Sorry. Twitch chat, make your predictions now. How much horsepower? Do you why? 350, 400 horsepower? I went in and I did a lot of the mods to it, but the factory horsepower is so low for this vehicle. Bro. Bro. Okay, I don't think we're gonna set any world records for the world's fastest beetle with 300 horsepower. Time to go edit the game again. That's more like it. I think now we've built the world's fastest beetle. I think we're ready to give this thing a test drive. I don't think the speedometer has been adjusted for the 5,000 horsepower in this. Let's just... Whoa. Whoa! Die, dead, dead, instant dead. Okay, go. Gentle, very gentle. We're looking good. 190, 200, keep going. No full throttle. 240, 250, 260. Oh, no, you stupid, <laughs> you stupid beetle. Where are you going? It's almost like when that supercharger starts to turn on, that's when I lose control completely. 200, lift off a bit now. Okay, we're bang on in the middle of the road. This is gonna be it, 230. 240, 50, keep going, keep going, 280, keep going, 290, 300, no, beat the Chiron, please, please, yes, I'm the world's fastest beetle, oh, dead, 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 oh my god, 290, there's something very broken with the speedometer. We're doing 320. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa. Whoa, we're building boost. Oh my god. Okay, we're still accelerating. That's 350 miles an hour. How fast is that? Whoa. Whoa, look at the smoke going down the road. Whoa. Gone. All right, I think 350 miles an hour is as good as I'm gonna do. I think it's safe to say we definitely built the ultimate beetle. There is only one more question I have. How much is it worth? I would say I'd be happy with like 50k, but it's got to be worth more than that because of our engine. 74,000 bucks. Wait, why is there a Porsche logo behind? What is this? Car mechanic simulator confirmed Volkswagen Beetle is actually a Porsche 911. <laughs>